Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 29th of 2020. Well, it is titled Milky Way over Yellowstone. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see part of Yellowstone National Park. And in this case, you can see a hot pool of water with the steam coming off of it. And the water is so hot because uh, Yellowstone is a very volcanic area. And there is a hot magma chamber down below that heats up the ground and causes things like the hot springs that we see and the geysers that will erupt from time to time at Yellowstone that is all heated from within the Earth. Now the Earth is not the most volcanically active object in in the solar system. We have certainly seen volcanoes elsewhere. We see volcanoes on Venus and Mars, other large terrestrial planets. But we also see volcanoes in the outer solar system with ice. And we can see icy eruptions further out. However, the most volcanically active object in the solar system is one of the moons of Jupiter known as Io. And it is uh, the most volcanically active uh, object much more active than the Earth with many uh, thousands of active volcanoes on its surface even though it is only about the size of our own moon. So extremely active and constantly turning itself inside out with its volcanic activity. Now, of course, the foreground uh, Yellowstone is not all we see in this image. We also see up above our Milky Way galaxy. So we can see our galaxy stretching up from off at the horizon here up to the top. And we can see some of the bright star clouds and the dark dust clouds that are associated with our Milky Way galaxy. Uh, our galaxy is a flattened spiral galaxy. And since we're inside it, we see it as a flattened disk across the sky and the dustier areas block out light from behind them so those areas that are darker within this band are not that they do not have as much material simply that there is more dusty material that blocks out the light when we look towards the central portion of our galaxy we do see that there are more star clouds there and that's towards the bottom of this image and then towards the top we're looking towards the further away from the center of our galaxy so there are definitely less stars there but the dark dusty lanes are actually a sign that there is a lot more material there and simply a lot that is blocked out than we cannot even see now the other bright object that you see there off to the right hand side is actually the planet Venus. Venus is actually here being distorted by all the steam coming up. All that heat will distort the atmosphere much as if you look at, a, at the stars on a hot summer humid summer night you will see them to be twinkling and that is because of turbulence in the atmosphere and a similar kind of thing is happening here and making Venus look much larger than it actually would be. Uh, although if you look out now, Venus is actually prominently visible in the evening sky right after sunset. When you look out to the west and see that bright object over there, you are actually seeing the planet Venus. So that was our picture of the day for January the 29th of 2020. It was titled Milky Way over Yellowstone. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.